Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the how to send separate remittance advice to the supplier email ID. So this is one of the topic which is there in the Oracle Payable Cloud. So first we get into that. Uh, let me walk through the what are the prerequisites are required in order to send this information, right? So first we need to enable manage disbursement system options. So this is one of the task. So here what we can do, we need to provide the our instance details. Let's say example, if you are, uh, if you want to send separate remittance advice to the supplier, so from which instance you want to send the notification. So that is what it is. Ideally in the client place, we will be providing the actual production instance details here. So you can see here, separate remittance advice from email ID. So this is the email ID, or I would say instance details here that we need to provide. And secondly, from email ID and subject line, these two, we need to provide it. Okay. Once we provide these things, next, second task is that go to manage supplier and specifically mention that which supplier you want to send this email notification or payment notification to the suppliers. So here we can see Oracle has provided four seeded delivery methods. So one is email and fax and email attachment with PDF. So these are the flexibility which we have given by the Oracle, right? So now, <clears throat> so our objective or goal is that this is the business use case, create an invoice, run PPR batch payment and verify SRA. SRA stands for separate remittance advice notification. It will be sent to specific supplier email ID or not. So this is the use case of the business and above are the prerequisites which we need to perform in the instance, right? So now we'll be getting into the application in order to see this or to perform it uh, here. Already I am in the instance here. <clears throat> So navigate to setup and maintenance and call out mayonnaise disbursement system options. Once you land to this page, here notice that first we need to understand what are the functionalities are available or what are the steps we have we are seeing here. So mainly we need to update this one, separate remittance advice from email ID. This is the, as you mentioned, the instance details. This is the demo instance, which I'm using right now. So I have given as a, this particular instance details here and subject. If you want to give any subject, so when you send that uh, SRA, so that will be prefix with this subject line, right? So that is one major setup here. And second setup is that if you want to enable the, uh, Payment approvals, you can enable here, but at present it is not needed. So just to move on to the next one. Once we've given these two information in the above setups and come down here, you can see business unit level override. So which business unit you are going to use for this flexibility, right? So here you can see business unit is that ES1 business unit. And this is as usually we'll take as a which is the one we needed. And here, main thing is here. Similarly, from email ID, which I already shown in the above, the same one I have given, and subject area, right? Separate remedies advice. This is the my subject, which I want to, when I've sent this SRA, it has to go with the, this particular <coughs> subject area, right? So once we provided these things, just go and save this page. So this is the one task which you need to perform. And secondly, as I mentioned, go to procurement, the real time, maybe the finance functional consultant may not be having the procurement agent role so that what we can do, we need to engage with the supply chain management or your functional consultant to check this kind of information. But this instance, it is a, Demo instance, I do have all the accesses so that I can show you how to do this activity.
yeah it may takes while to open the supplier page yeah so go to the task and query the supplier name which supplier you want to send separate remittance let's say example here starting with a b let's see what are the suppliers would we have in application yeah here i can see abc consulting abc supplier so demo purpose i may take abc supplier i think somebody has created recently the supplier let's see So this is the supplier site information all you can see profile addresses site contract qualification so here just go to sites and click on see you can see here this is the only one of the option where it is hyperlink is available just click on that or click on edit once you select this row click on edit tab Just keep in mind, supply site is the most important setup where we want to give all the information. So whenever you're creating any invoices or anything uh, just to be done, so the, uh, the application will go and look at the supplier site level. What are the functionalities or what are the free different things we have given? Let's say example, uh, distribution sets, prepayment accounts, and then library account, etc. Right. So go to site sorry payments and under the payments you can see payment attribute and again here you can see so this is the navigation part just keep in mind payments payment attributes since it is a uh, talking about the separate remittance advisory delivery right so which comes as a part of the payments when we make the payment that time only it will be come the picture so that's where Navigation is payments, payment attributes under that separate remittance advice delivery. So these are the things we have email, fax, printed email with PDF as attachment. So now I give, I will select as only email notification. So here, this is the major one which we can provide our email ID. So here I can choose my email ID, Oracle Fusion 2050 at gmail.com. Right. This is the one whenever the, uh, the client is going to make a payment, this particular supplier, you will be notifying through this email ID. It says that these are the payments we have been made to you. Right. So once you provide this email ID, just go save and close. Save and close. Yes. Save. So we have performed task one, task two. So now, what is the business use case? Needs to be create one invoice. Go to navigation, go to payables. Invoice. Task create invoice. This already you guys very familiar with uh, this navigation and uh, process also. So it may take a bit of time. Yeah. So I will choose. Provide business unit details. Yes, business unit. If not coming, just select from LOV, list of values. Yes, one. Supplier is just will provide what we have given over there, just AB, and we'll select from the list of values.
search for ABC supplier. This is what we have seen. Select. Yeah. So invoice number is just I will provide as SRA test hundred dollars. Type is standard. Description is that SRA test. SRA test. Yeah. And save the record. Go to lines. Click on plus symbol to add line. So provide what is the dollars and distribution set. Just select what is the distribution set you want to provide here. Just the example, utilities and save the record again. So wait for save the record. So we'll do the validation. Control Alt V, it's a shortcut. If you want to go and uh, click on Manage invoice and do the validation. So the system will calculate, calculate automatically tax value. So actually it will take some time because uh, you see it is a demo instance. So a number of people are using this demo instance from uh, across the globe. So sometimes it may take some time. Just bear the time with me. I don't know why it is long, long run to validate the invoice. So let it be. Yeah, it got validated now. You scroll down, you can see the invoice the total value is that. One hundred nine dollars. Just save this as it is, and uh, save. And now you can do the again validation. Alt Control V. So the system will do the validation of the invoice. Yes, it got validated. Just go and click on validate state, and see the, all the information. Yes, it got validated, and not accounted. So what I will do? I will go and uh, click on x and click on um, sorry a wrong dimension here cancel click on invoice post to ledger So when you say post to ledger, so what it will do? It will uh, in the background in the back end, it will go and do the all the validation. So it will check the all the three different configurations. Let's say example your chart of account values and then uh, your uh, like your tax values and then all the related information will check and thoroughly and then it will complete the process. You can see right here. So click on view accounting. If it is there any kind of you are using any uh, custom rules, I mean to say, example like you know accounting rules or any SLS you are using, those things like it will go and review all the setups and then finally 
it, it will derive the your final entry accounting entries if you want to see that i will go and showcase you how to see that just go and click on here see here so these are the invoices uh, sorry account line got created right if you go and look at here just expand this line number one So yeah, so this is how we can see this one. Okay, so just you can see the status here. Cancel it, and now save and close the invoice. So now we have created the invoice. Now we need to do the payment for it. Go to the pay payments. Submit PPA request. Nothing but as a payment process request. So I will give SRA October 21st today. Right. So if you want to use any predefined templates that you can select from this list of value, since I didn't create anything, so I will be taking all the information from the here itself only. It says here my supplier is that ABC supplier, right? So we'll choose the same thing here because I want to make payment only for supplier, the specific supplier. So here just select payment and processing option. Which bank account you're going to make a payment? Select the bank account as BOFA, Bank of America. Just give the Bank of America the BOFA till come. Either 2869 or whatever you want to take it out and the payment document standard one and uh, payment process profile right just take this one mm, standard check so if you want you can review and create this one create payment file immediately it means that after completion of the process automatically the system will create the payment file which is supposed to be transmitted to the bank to release the payment so that is what it is okay so here one more step i will show you after this completion because the payment process i mean to say a uh, triple p is the right payment process profile at that level we need to enable the sre also so then only it will be triggered okay so submit take the name so just again task manage payment process request USRA underscore factor work. Just for it. This is the word hours. Refresh the page. Here you can see six invoice got selected because I process only one invoice, but other people also they would have passed another five invoices here. That's what it picked all the what are the eligible invoices for payment. It got selected over here. Just click on review as action tab. These are the invoices got created, but which is ours only is the one ours. So what I will do, I will remove all these, which is not, I don't want to make the payment anymore. So I will set all, all, of, all of them here at one shot. And what I will do, delete those things. Yes, this is the flexibility. We can delete the, which is the invoices. We don't want to make a payment. Now I see only my invoice. Just save it. If you want to add any additional installments, if you want to make any payment extra, that you can click on here and add a number of installments based on your need. Click on submit. So see, after we submitted, the system will calculate withholding tax and then interest invoices also. Why? Because if it is, if it is uh, eligible anything for the supplier, so it will pick the, the same thing here again. Okay? That's where it is getting my status as a validated. I mean, they say uh, withhold tax and interest and installment selected. Just to refresh the page, selected, installment selected, assignment complete. That is the next step and uh, document validation. Yes, pending proposed payment review. Again, it will stop because the way we have to select the checkboxes over there, right? So based on that, it will act on it. 
So now I can you can go and review this again. If you want to make any changes, that can be possible. Here you can go and look at that information. Just click on here. If you want to delete, you can delete. Right. So everything looks fine for me now. So go and click on resume payment process. Just again click on refresh tab. Refresh. Refresh. Waiting for payment file processing. Yes. So payment file got generated. But now it has to go for the printing. So that is where uh, our expectation. Yes. So here it came. So click on action tab again. Click on print. In, in, in the real time, we can see the here printer details also, which printer the check has to be printed. That is what it is here. Since it is a demo instance, it is not required. But if it is printer is available, just go and click on print so that the information will go to the printer to print the check. So again, refresh here. Formatted, submitted for printing. Yes, again, just go here, click on. So this is the final confirmation. Till now, if the business user wants to cancel this particular PPR batch payment, yes, that is also available in the phase in application. So if you go here, here you can see the last tab called as a terminate payment process request or terminate payment process. If you go and click here, automatically this entire process will get canceled. This is the last stage where you can go and if you want to take a decision to cancel it. Right. Just keep in mind, if anybody asks interview in the interview also, they may, there could be possibility where they can ask the question. Either we can cancel uh, cancel or terminate the PPR batch payment before print the check. Yes, that is possible here. In this stage only, it is possible. If you go and click on now, record print status, then we can add. Submit. If you submit, this is the final step. See, still here we can have the, again, have the chance if you want to cancel and go and go go back and cancel the batch but if you go and click on here it's a final warning right so click on record for print status now so completely is printed you can see the status here printed click on here you can see the check in the pdf copy what we have given the format yes this is how the check has printed right so now go back here you can see separate remittance advice created to be created this is the status now just now what we can do just go back navigate to schedule process here you can see schedule process here you can see it got succeeded right so this is the one so if you want to see the another information payment file register this is the register file this is the payment file if you go and click on that it will give the exactly what we have make the made the payment this is the pdf copy which i have shown you already right So I'll go to my email ID. So I will show you either I have received remittance notification or not. Yes, now you can see here, this is the word, I received the payment advice 
notification to my email id so this is how we need to perform this activity in the production as well as as it is so there would be some tips i will be providing now so sometimes I, what i have seen uh, some of the clients wherever where the suppliers are not getting the email notifications to their inbox the reason being there could be multiple reasons because they would have given wrong email id at the supply site level that's one possibility and second possibility their email domain right so domain also sometimes it will be block the some outside organization uh, emails also so that is a major thing but however the major thing is here we need to keep in mind one thing first step is that when we receive this kind of issue where uh, saying that the suppliers is not getting separate remittance advices to the, their email notification automatically the first thing we need to go and check the supplier site level either they provided active email id or not that's the main step then you can debug more if 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 at all the issue still is going on then we need to debug more if you need anything else we need to raise a sr as well as so that is how we need to perform this activity in the production right yeah that's all about the how to send separate remittance advice notification to the suppliers thank you